G'day, you're with Sean the Australian Restorer and I am nearly at the point where my shed's functional. However, one of the things that every shed needs is some good storage. So I picked up this old thing, which would be perfect for my storage needs in the shed. Quite rusty. However, this will be a fine addition. This top shelf doesn't actually come off, but what I can do is knock it down a bit um, out of the way so I can at least kind of clean in behind there and then I'll put it back. It's better than just leaving all that rust there, I suppose. Okay, I consider this to be a little bit of a starting point. Now the fun begins.
son of a panel beater, I evidently did not inherit my old man's ability to manipulate sheet metal. However, if you recall how bent and twisted this area was, I'm still gonna still gonna call that a win. And the little piece over here, yeah, not too bad. Look for what it is. It's a rusty old cabinet. It'll do fine. So what I'm gonna do now is just grind that just to just to neaten it up a little bit. <laughs> straighter and those little kind of tiny bends that were left over from the hammering have been fixed up for the most part gave over here a touch as well just to straighten it up and those little extra kinks that were kind of stuck out there's a little bit of a bend here on the front of the cabinet you see this front lip kind of splayed forward I'll see if I can't just bend that back down a little bit bumper right here, it's bothering me. painting has really showed up some imperfections especially from where I did a bit of panel beating now I'm not too concerned about this sort of stuff you know we can see a little bit where the old paint was that doesn't concern me but yeah this is just a little bit too much for me so I might just bog that now same again here on the door it's just that little ding there another little one there so yeah I'll just go ahead and, and bog those little bits once again not concerned about little imperfections such as this <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
this is what I'm using. Uh, Rust Oleum black glossy with a hammered finish. Now the reason I chose hammered, on top of it looking pretty cool, so you can kind of see on the tin there, it's got that texture, those, anyone doesn't know what hammered means. Um, well, as you probably noticed, I didn't really put in the greatest amount of effort to remove the rust imperfections, you know, you can kind of see it here. Um, I know it's not going to be perfect, but the hammer tone will mask that ever so slightly, so yeah, that's the reason I chose this texture. Not quite the satisfying reveal I was hoping for. Um, I'll fix up those little bits that are kind of, you know, I ruined. Uh, still, you get the idea. It's uh, you know, just a little design feature I decided to add to the front of it. Now, obviously, if you note the description and the title, you're not going to find the words how to, or this is an exact way to do it, and you will get perfect results. So, to settle down, anyone who's a professional who's come here just to mention how bad a job I did I'm way ahead of you I know but I don't care because it's an old cabinet and I'm happy with it so far minus those little bits So it only had one hinge. I found a couple of new ones which are you know, bang on the same size, which is handy. So yeah, go ahead and put them on now.
All right, guys, well, not a perfect turnout, but, you know, you saw how it was and think we can all agree that it is much better. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.